Hi, I'm Jen Hillman. Thanks for joining me today as we continue our series, Yoga for Flexibility. So today we are gonna be targeting muscles in the hamstrings, hips, and glutes. So a lot of times we spend most of our lives sitting in a chair, in the car, at a desk, on the couch, and all of this sitting, unfortunately, results in shortness and tightness in our hamstrings and in our glutes and hips. And all of this can contribute to pain in our low back and tension throughout our entire spine. So you might not think, hmm, my hamstrings are really tight, but I bet they are. And if you spend some time stretching with me today, we will target those muscles and help loosen it up increase your flexibility and range of motion, and hopefully help relieve some pain and tension throughout your body. So go ahead and thumbs up this video and add it to your list of favorites. We will get started with some flexibility stretches targeting your hamstrings, hips, and glutes. All right, so we are going to begin our practice from a comfortable seat. So find yourself a spot on the floor where you can sit comfortably and we will get started by bringing the soles of your feet together and opening your knees apart. So if your hips are very tight, your knees may not come open very wide. They might be a little higher up. That's totally okay. You can use a pillow or a cushion to sit on. It will help to elevate your hips and make it a little easier for your knees to open out to the sides. If your hips are really tight and it's just not happening for you, you might get some pillows or cushions to put underneath your legs to give you that added support if you need it. And so you can stay right here, just letting your hips open, letting your knees drop down towards the earth. So even here, I'm already starting to get a gentle stretching sensation in my inner thighs and into my hips here. So this is a perfect place to stay if you're really tight and just working on getting some of that mobility happening. But once you start to feel a little more relaxed in this pose, we can start to stretch and fold forward slowly, a little at a time. Let yourself begin to fold over your legs. And now you'll just find where is your own personal edge, stretching as far over as you can. And once you find that spot where your body is really ready to pause, then go ahead and just stop there. Take some deep breaths and just be with the sensations that you notice. For me, I'm noticing some stretching sensation along my inner thighs here, but I'm also getting some stretch across my outer hip and through my glutes as well. So wherever your muscles are tight, that's where you're going to feel the most sensation. So I get emails from people sometimes asking, you know, where am I supposed to feel it? Well, the truth is you're gonna feel it where you need it. So just stay with your breath and wherever you're feeling that sensation, that's where your body is tight. So we're gonna focus our energy there, focus our attention there, and just work on letting your body start to soften and release that tension that's holding on and let yourself fold a little bit more deeply over your legs. So when we're working on increasing our flexibility, we'll hold our stretches a little bit longer than we normally would because it helps to really communicate the message to the muscle that it's okay to relax, it's okay to release tension, and slowly, after a few moments of stretching, your muscles do start to relax and you can go a little bit further. So just notice, are you able to stretch a little deeper now than when we first began this pose a few moments ago? Yeah, it kind of takes you a little deeper, moment by moment, breath by breath. So let's press ourselves all the way up to center. And let's just focus on one leg at a time. So bring your right leg forward with your left knee bent. You'll bring the sole of your foot to the inside of your right thigh. 
And again, if you're sitting on a pillow or cushion here, that can be extra supportive if you need it. From here, we'll start to walk our hands forward again, gently folding over your leg. You can reach for your ankle or your foot. And if you're able to hold on to it, you can use that for leverage to pull yourself a little further forward. Remember to stay with a deep and relaxed breath, taking full inhales and full exhales. Let yourself relax into this stretch. Enjoy this time that you get to spend with your body, with your breath, and with me. Thanks for joining me and following along and giving this time to yourself. And walk your hands back up, coming up to center. Now here, I want you to swing your right leg back behind you. So you're going to bend your knee and open your hip so that you've got this kind of zigzag Z shape in your legs. Then bring your left fingertips to the floor behind you and sweep your right arm up and around. So you're taking a twist in your spine. It's almost as if you were drawing an arc from your right fingertips around towards your right toes. So here I'm getting a stretch across the front of my right thigh through my quadriceps and also through my right hip flexors. So when we're sitting all the time, your hip flexors get short and tight. So this is a great opportunity to invite those muscles to lengthen up stretch open. This is also giving you a chance to get a nice mobilizing twist in your spine. Come back around to the front. Then you'll swing your right leg back around. And this time, step your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. Now if it's difficult for you to keep this left leg bent, and keep your hips grounded onto the earth, you can extend your left leg forward and that might make it easier for you in this stretch. So either way, both are good options. Whatever supports your body the most is perfectly fine. You just wanna make sure that your right foot is planted completely on the floor. So it's not just sideways here. You really wanna put your foot all the way down onto the floor so that this right leg gives you some stability as you twist towards the right side and hug your right leg closer towards your chest. So as I'm drawing my right knee towards my left armpit, I really squeeze it in there. This is helping me get that stretch sensation through my outer right hip. So that's how you know you found that good sweet spot. So we want to breathe here and let it stretch and let it open up and release tension. If you're feeling a lot of sensation here, that's how you know your hips are tight. So you need to favorite this video and practice along with me lots of times. It doesn't take very long for your body to adjust when you start stretching. Within a few days, within a week, or even a couple of weeks, you'll be noticing huge changes in your body, in your flexibility and mobility. So the more time you can spend practicing and stretching, the better it's going to be for your body overall. Go ahead and unwind, untwisting your spine. And now I'd like to invite you to stack your shins right on top of each other. So your right ankle will stack over your left knee and your right knee will stack over your left ankle. Now I know for some of you with really tight hips, your knee is gonna be way up here. That's okay, don't worry. 
You can just sit right here in this pose. Bring your right hand onto your right knee and just gently encourage that knee to open to the side little by little. You'll start to feel those muscles in your hips starting to relax. So we just stay right there and work with that. If you have a little bit more range of motion and your knee can stack over your ankle a little more easily, you can continue to just sit here, lifting through your spine, press your right hand down into your right knee. This will help you get that sensation and stretch through your hip. And if you'd like to take it one step further, you can begin to fold your body gently forward. So now I'm getting a lot more sensation in my outer hip, starting to access that edge where I need to rest and pause and breathe so that my muscles can slowly start to release. And then I can gently begin to fold a little bit further. So there's no rush when we're doing this work to improve your flexibility. You have to give yourself permission to slow down and take your time and be with your body. There's no hurry at all. You know, we live our lives constantly in such a rush, going from place to place, from activity to activity, we constantly have things to do. But this moment here that we're spending together, stretching and being with our bodies, one of the most precious gifts you can give to yourself, an opportunity to slow down to not worry about anybody else or anything else. And just take care of yourself. You deserve it. So good job. <laughs> and let's come all the way up. And come back to that first position, bringing your feet together and your knees apart. And see if you can notice the difference of how it feels from one side to the other. So the right hip is more relaxed, more loose. That left hip is still waiting its turn. So we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. And we'll start by extending your left leg forward. So you'll keep your right knee bent, bringing the sole of your foot to the inside of your left thigh. And with your left leg extended, start to walk your hands forward, gently folding over your left leg. If you can reach for your ankle or your foot, go ahead and grab onto it. Then you can use your upper body strength to help you pull your heart closer towards your shin or towards your foot. So you deepen your stretch along your left hamstrings. So remember, we're targeting our hamstrings and hips today. So just allow yourself to go into that sensation. Notice where the tension is being held. Wherever you're feeling it, that's where you need to stretch. So just use your breath. Send your breath to those tight muscles and gently invite your muscles to relax. Take one more cycle of breath right here. Take a full inhale. And a full exhale. And slowly start to press yourself up. Good, and then we'll swing your left leg back behind you, bending your knee. Okay, so we have that nice zigzag shape in your legs. Bring your right fingertips behind you, and then we'll twist, sweeping your left arm up and around. Get a nice twist in your spine. Reach through your left fingertips. So your left arm and your left hand is very active, very awake and energized. 
Reach your fingertips in a big arc, almost as if you could reach around and touch your left toes. So allow yourself to get that nice stretch across the front of your left quadriceps and even opening across your left hip flexors. Keep lifting through your chest as you twist around, taking your spine in a nice deep twist. And always, always taking deep, fluid breaths. And we'll come back to center. And then we'll swing your left leg back around. And this time we want to plant your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. Remember, you want to bring the sole of your foot completely flat onto the floor. You can keep your right knee bending, tucked underneath you. But if it's easier, go ahead and extend your right leg forward. So it's totally up to you. Whatever supports your body the most is perfect. So you just find that perfect position that's going to help you stretch your hips. As you hug your left knee in towards your right armpit, you'll twist your heart towards the left. So keep hugging your left thigh in so you get that deep stretch sensation through your outer left hip. That's the area we really want to focus on stretching today. Sometimes, and if you've practiced along with my videos, We'll use this same position, the same stretch as a way to stretch our spine. But today we're really focusing on hamstrings and hips. So we want to hug your knee in towards your chest as much as you can to help you get that sensation through your outer hip. untwist your spine. Now we're going to work on stacking our shins one on top of the other, okay? So take your time getting into this pose. You may notice that one side is more tight than the other, so if your left side is more resistant, be patient with yourself. Just sit up nice and tall, bring your left hand onto your left knee, gently pressing your knee down will give you a nice stretch and gentle opening in your left hip. Once you have a little more room to move, a little more flexibility, you can really start to stack your shins and you can stay right here, just sitting up nice and tall. You can close your eyes, press your left hand into your left knee. This is a wonderful place to breathe, get connected to the sensations in your body. And if you want to take it a little further, moving deeper into this stretch, then you can start to fold your body forward and just find that edge where your body says, okay, that's enough. And that's where you pause and breathe and stretch. how difficult it can be to get motivated to take this time to stretch. I, even in my own life, sometimes I get so busy and caught up with other things that I'm doing that I forget about how important it is to really spend this time stretching and being with my body and being with my breath. But you're already on the right track just by see searching out some YouTube videos to guide you. And when you take this time to honor and nurture yourself, it's so relaxing, it's so therapeutic, it really helps you release stress, and release tension from your mind and your body. And here, just we're working on increasing your flexibility, improving your range of motion to help your body be healthier overall. So as you're ready, gently press yourself all the way back up. time we'll come back to that opening position 
bringing the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. And just notice how it feels different now that you've taken some time to stretch out both sides. It feels a lot different than when we first began. Maybe you can sit without a cushion this time, or maybe you notice that your knees open a little further to the sides. It doesn't take very long for your body to respond to the stretches. We can take one more moment and fold forward over your legs. And then gently press yourself all the way back up. As we're bringing our practice to a close, we'll have one more moment to stretch those hamstrings one last time. So extend your legs forward in front of you. And here you'll just start to walk your hands towards your feet, folding over both legs. Can, grab onto your ankles or shins or maybe you can reach forward and grab a hold of your feet and just gently slowly let yourself fold you can close your eyes here as you let yourself sink into this stretch take another deep breath As you exhale, let yourself relax even deeper into this forward fold. If your hamstrings are very tight and this is painful or uncomfortable for you, you can try putting a pillow or cushion underneath your knees. This will help, help you get a little more stretch without hurting. You can also let your heart rise a little higher. That will help alleviate some of the stretch as well. So we're just finding whatever way supports you the most to get the most benefit out of this stretch. And again, we're working on increasing your flexibility. So we're holding some of these poses a little longer than you would maybe in some other style of class. But the longer you can be with these stretches, the more your body can soften and release and increase your flexibility. And as you're ready, you can gently roll all the way back up. We'll just continue this motion Come all the way down onto your back. So here, once you lie onto your back, just let your feet fall open to the sides. Let your palms rotate up towards the ceiling. Let your belly relax. You feel it rise and fall with each breath. You can gently close your eyes, giving yourself a moment to rest. Feel free to stay and enjoy this time to rest for as long as you need. It's so beneficial. This is the moment that your body starts to integrate all of the work that you've done. So it's important to give yourself this time.
to just be still and let your body recover. And whenever you're ready to come out of this resting pose, gently roll yourself over onto one side, coming to a comfortable fetal position, just relaxing here for a moment. As you're ready, you can begin to press yourself up, coming back into a comfortable seat. And just sit up nice and tall, lifting through your spine. Thank you so much for joining in this practice with me today. If you're feeling better, if you've enjoyed this practice, leave me a thumbs up on this video. Leave me your comments below. It's always so great to hear from you. And you can always subscribe to the Yoga TX channel. So that way you'll have access to our complete series of yoga for flexibility, as well as all of my other videos helping you to relieve pain, reduce tension, and feel better in your body. And don't forget to visit my website jenhillman.com to get all the latest and greatest information of what I'm up to with fresh new content for you. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Just a little bit deeper. Notice how the stretch changes. Where do you feel it the most? Send your breath to that place. slowly come all the way back up.